I will now show you how to construct a right triangle using GeoJewel. We start by constructing a line. So go down the lines. You can do it up here at the basic tools. Click the line tool. Drop one point for one point of the line. Click to drop the other point, And now we've got a line. The next thing we want to do in order to create the right angle is we need to draw a line perpendicular to this line. So we get the perpendicular line tool. Click that. And the first thing, if you look down here, it says select point and perpendicular line. So I'm going to start, I'm going to select the line first. And now we can see there's, it's drawn the perpendicular line, but I have to put a point to anchor that line. So I'm going to put that point right there, point F. So now this is the line that's perpendicular to DE that goes through F. Now I just need to uh, add another point at the point of intersection. And now I can put my triangle right here with E, F, and G. So I get the polygon tool, click F, G, E, and back to F to close it. And now when I move, if I move F, I can move it around. If I move G, I don't think G moves because G is determined by F, but I can move E, can move all sorts of stuff because E also moves the line D. Now, I want to hide. I don't need these big lines and I don't need point D. So I am going to go to the calculator tool. Actually, there's an easier way to do this. The other way to do this, since I have, if I want to, I can get the settings up. Click the gear and go to settings. And then when, if I click on this line, here's the information about the line. And one of the things here is show object. So you can use the calculator to hide stuff like I did before. Or if I want to do it here, I can also just, if I click the line and then get rid of show object, it disappears. Click the line, get rid of show object, disappears. Click angle D, show object, disappears. So now I've got my triangle. And I can move it around, Just move it over here a little bit. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then we can do the same things we did here to label the sides and the angles. So first I'm going to, I want to make it ABC again. So I make this. into A, return. Now notice something interesting happens. I didn't point this out before, but when I name this A, it changes these. This has become A sub 2, and this has become A sub 1, so that all the A's, so we can differentiate between the different A's, and that's OK. So get the move, turn that into B, and again, it doesn't matter which one is which. I hit return, so it changes. Change that into C return, then I'm going to measure the angles with the angle tool. Oh. I got two of them, that was a mistake, so I'll delete that because my measuring tool was still on. I want to go back to the move tool so I can move these. If you ever get two measures like that, just hit undo just means you hit measure twice. And then I'll measure the sides. Um, get my distance length. Go to the move, these out. And then I want to name my sides. So make sure I've got the move tool clicked. This is across from C. C, name and value. This is across from B, name and value. A. So now you're ready to fill in your information for the right triangle. And now we're going to keep going because we can do the scalene, acute, and obtuse all with the same triangle. So we're going to construct one more triangle, but this one we can just do freehand. 
we can just get the poly down tool. Oops. Drop any three points and close it off. And then we'll do the same thing to label them that I did here. I won't do that on the video because you've seen that enough. But then you can just move it to make your acute triangle, to make your obtuse triangle, and then in order to make the scalene triangle, move it again. All right, these need to be different triangles. So your scalene can of course be acute or obtuse, but it should be different sizes from your acute or obtuse triangle. All right, and that is everything you need to know to do number one in the um, Constructing Triangles lesson.